Ah, what a beautiful day for a picnic. Mom is getting fresh vegetables out of the garden. Dad is out smoking meats on the grill. I love when we can get everyone together to enjoy our favorite meal, lunch. No, 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 I mean lunch. Because it's clucking delicious. Oh yeah, did I mention that my family is a bunch of hens? That's right. This is the HNPCC hen picnic. Now let's see what's for lunch. Syndrome. Okay, okay, okay. Time for the star of the image. Yep, that's me sitting there on the picnic blanket. I'm a hen because, well, it's HNPCC. HNPCC stands for Hereditary Non-Polyposis Colorectal Cancer, which is perhaps better known as Lynch Syndrome. And what hen picnic would be complete without the king of processed food, the Lynchable? That's right. This Lynchable is here to help you remember HNPCC's other name, Lynch Syndrome. Now turn your attention to the truck over on the left side of the image. Like I mentioned earlier, mom has been busy working in the garden. See how she just picked up a bunch of gardening supplies from the local hen improvement store? At Pixarize, dominant automobiles, like trucks and tanks, represent autosomal dominant diseases. And our family only hauls garden supplies in a big, dominant truck, which should help you remember that Lynch syndrome is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion. Now let's move on to which genes are actually mutated. See the mesh in the mulch that mom picked up from the store? The word mesh should make you think of the gene MSH, and the word mulch should make you think of the gene MLH. You don't even want to know how long it took us to come up with those symbols. Answer, a long time. Addendum, I need better hobbies. Anyway, mutations in either MSH or MLH lead to Lynch syndrome. But what exactly do these genes encode? For that, let's return to our picnic blanket. We actually made it together, piece by piece, as a family. Wait, what do you mean it looks mismatched? Quite frankly, I'm offended. What if I told you that the MSH and MLH genes encode mismatch repair proteins, and that this blanket that has been poorly repaired with mismatched pieces of cloth is here just to help you remember that? Bet you don't feel so good about yourself now, huh, big guy? But that's right. Lynch syndrome is caused by a defect in mismatch repair proteins. But what's all the fuss about? Why is this mismatch repair thing so important? Well, I'll have you know, DNA synthesis is not all fun and games. Sometimes things go wrong and mismatch repair is there to clean up your mess. We're talking about insertions, deletions, and misincorporations of bases, the whole kit and caboodle. Recall, DNA is replicated during the S phase or synthesis phase of the cell cycle. When the parent strand is copied, the newly synthesized daughter strand often contains errors, as just mentioned. Using the parent strand as a guide, the mismatch repair system will go through and fix any errors on the daughter strand. And this repair process may take a while. It can even extend into the G2 phase of the cell cycle. With this in mind, I want you to turn your gaze to our family home. See the satellite dish on the roof? It looks a little unstable. And I bet that you can guess why. Recall, microsatellites are regions of repetitive DNA. For example, the sequence GTC, GTC, dot, 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 GTC, GTC. Now, DNA polymerases usually have a little extra trouble when dealing with long repetitive sequences like this. This leads to higher mutation rates in microsatellite regions. In moderation, these mutations can be a good thing as they lead to higher genetic diversity. But now let's consider a situation in which we have no mismatch repair. The number of mutations that occur in microsatellites get really out of hand really fast. This is termed microsatellite instability, and it is the reason that Lynch syndrome is so severe. And you know what a lot of DNA mutations smell like? That's right, they smell like cancer. Now, I need you to develop a knee-jerk reaction to the following words. Mismatch repair, microsatellite instability, Lynch syndrome, cancer. Now repeat that 100 times every night before you go to bed. It will be on your exam. Now let's check out dad smoking the meats. He prefers to cook everything the old fashioned way, with coal. No fancy gas grill here. Anyway, his coal grill looks a little weird. A bit like a colon, if you will. And check out what he's smoking up. That's right, it's the cancer crab. The coal grill should make you think of the colon, and the crab should make you think of cancer. 
When you put the two together, you get colorectal cancer. Remember Lynch syndrome's other name, HNPCC, hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer? We're really putting the colorectal cancer in hen picnic with this one, folks. That's because HNPCC greatly predisposes patients to develop colorectal cancer. Next, notice how dad is stuffing up the coals on one side of the grill. You might even say he's loading them up on the proximal side of the grill. This should remind you that the proximal colon is usually involved in HMPCC colorectal cancers. I want to reiterate this as it's high yield. On test day, test writers will try to confuse you between Lynch syndrome and FAP, as these are the two main familial colorectal cancer diseases. You can think of colorectal cancers as being either proximal or distal, in other words, right-sided or left-sided. Lynch syndrome is usually proximal, aka right-sided, and FAP is usually distal, aka left-sided. Moreover, another key way you can distinguish between them is by the presence of polyps. FAP has polyps, whereas Lynch syndrome does not. I don't see a polyp symbol anywhere here, do you? That's right, because there isn't one. I mean, come on, the name is hereditary, non-polyposis colorectal cancer. The typical colon polyp, that is, the pedunculated polyp that kind of looks like a hanging mushroom, is not seen in Lynch syndrome. On a more clinical note, the absence of recognizable polyps makes early screening very difficult, as screening colonoscopies look for, you guessed it, polyps. And remember when I told you that Lynch syndrome usually occurs in the proximal colon? Pretty hard to get all the way over there during a colonoscopy. Therefore, patients with Lynch syndrome are usually asymptomatic until they develop full-on colon cancer symptoms like GI bleeding. Now, at this point, if you still confuse FAP with Lynch syndrome on test day, your hen parents will be very disappointed. Before we finish this image, I want to wrap up with just a few more cancer types. See Mrs. Hen over there working in the garden? She represents the last few cancers, so let's get started. First, check out the backpack she's wearing. That's a camel bag, and it's full of water to help keep her hydrated as she works. Just kidding. It's a uterus. I can't believe I fooled you. That looks nothing like a camel bag. Anyway, this uterus should remind you that Lynch syndrome is associated with endometrial cancers. Next, take a look at the plant she's tending to. Ah, I love when mom picks fresh vegetables out of the garden. But wait, these weird melon vegetables look a lot like ovaries. Mom, you're being weird again. Can't you just grow normal food? Anyway, this should help you remember that Lynch syndrome is also associated with ovarian cancers. Finally, it looks like mom has gotten dirt all over herself as she slaves away in the garden. By that same token, dad has also gotten soot all over himself. I really hope they freshen up before the picnic. Anyway, their dirty feathers should make you think of skin cancers. Now, I know, I know, feathers are not skin. Well, maybe not to you, but to hen people they are. Whatever, just deal with it, okay? Dirt on the skin equals skin cancer. Don't get mad at me, I don't make the rules. Just kidding. I do make the rules. Get over it. And we're done. Woo, time for lunch. We're all starving. But before we can eat, we have to recap. Yay. Lynch syndrome, also known as HNPCC, is an autosomal dominant disease that is caused by a mutation in MSH or MLH. These genes encode mismatch repair proteins, which fix a number of mistakes made during DNA replication. The faulty mismatch repair system is particularly salient at microsatellite regions, leading to microsatellite instability and high mutation rates. These high mutation rates go on to cause a variety of cancers, most notably colorectal cancer. Other commonly associated cancers are endometrial, ovarian, and skin cancers. On test day, Lynch syndrome is often tested against a similar disease, FAP. One way you can tell these two diseases apart is by the presence of polyps. FAP has polyps, whereas HNPCC does not. Remember, HNPCC has non-polyposis right in the name. Additionally, Lynch syndrome usually occurs in the proximal colon, aka the right colon. FAP, on the other hand, usually occurs in the distal colon, aka the left colon. And now we're actually done. Time to dig in. Now go like us on Instagram. There, you'll find Nathan's abs. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.